In May 2014, life was busy. I was working in banking and doing a PhD in my spare time, as well as juggling being a wife and a stepmom to three children. My husband and I had just been on holiday to Mexico, and I'd come back feeling generally unwell and was suffering with chest pain. Being only 33 at the time, I put it down to my stressful job and carried on with life. However, during a board meeting in June, the chest pain became really quite bad. Rather than excusing myself and seeking help, I justified that it was just stress or maybe something I'd eaten and carried on with my day. A couple of days later, the pain was still there and my husband persuaded me to get it checked out. At the chest pain clinic, my cardiologist suspected that I had had a heart attack and I was sent for an angiogram. That angiogram was a pivotal point for me. Not only was I diagnosed with a rare heart condition called Prince Metal's angina, but also, unbeknown to me at the time, it was the last day of my working life. Things went from bad to worse and my body just didn't seem to want to work as it had done previously. I struggled to walk or do the simplest of things and it was clear that there was more going on than just my heart condition. My cardiologist sent me to several different doctors and eventually, two years later, I received a diagnosis of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. This is a rare connective tissue disorder that affects almost every part of my body. Many of my joints are now so lax that they dislocate at the slightest movement. My autonomic system is heavily affected, meaning all the body's automatic regulation of temperature, blood pressure, pulse, etc. just don't work effectively. I have something called mast cell activation syndrome, meaning my immune system doesn't function properly and produces excess histamine, resulting in uncontrolled allergic reactions. My vascular system is heavily affected and I get vascular spasms throughout my body the worst being in my heart. I also have gastroparesis, meaning my stomach is paralyzed and I'm therefore fed through a tube directly into my small intestine. To date, I've had 35 operations, including spinal surgery to fix fractures in my vertebra caused by my spine being hypermobile. I went from extremely active and busy to being a full-time patient in one foul swoop. Ellis Danlos is a progressive condition and living with that and dealing with the effects of it take its toll not just physically, but mentally. In 2017, I was awarded a scholarship with Flying Scholarships for Disabled People. I started to learn to fly. I took that incredible feeling of freedom that flying brings and started to turn my life and mental health around. This was a new beginning for me. It was time to take back control. It was time for me to stop looking backwards and trying to get back to who I was and start to look forward to who I could be and what I could be. After I got the call to say I'd been awarded the scholarship, I don't think I really believed it until I was invited to the Royal International Air Tattoo to be presented with my scholarship by Prince Faisal of Jordan. After spending a weekend surrounded by planes with the smell of aviation fuel in the air and the noise of the jet planes doing demonstrations, it finally started to sink in that I was going to be learning to fly. And I couldn't wait to get started.
never forget the feeling of that first flight, being given control and the power of going full throttle down the runway before you gently lift off and the ground melts away. Flying takes a lot of concentration, so you don't have the opportunity to dwell on any concerns or worries. You have to leave them on the ground and give it your all. But it's also incredibly relaxing. The feeling once you start to come out of the initial climb and level off is almost indescribable. I could feel my whole body relax and the change was instantly visible. The opportunity not just to fly, but to make new friends in similar situations and to have the chance to realize that I can do a lot more than I thought. It was honestly life-changing. To the point where my sister even said to me, I have my sister back, the old me. Since my scholarship, I've restarted work on my PhD, taken up archery and started singing lessons. I've even sung at my first public gig. FSDP gave me the strength to face the fact that my life was never going to go back to what it was and helped me to realise that that was okay. I didn't need to go backwards. Having to retire at 33 when my career was such a huge part of my life had a massive impact on my self-worth. I honestly felt like I was useless and I was on the scrap heap. My scholarship gave me the confidence to look forward to my future and to realise that I could still make a massive difference. When I'm not in hospital, I use my time to raise awareness of invisible illness, in particular of ehlers Danlos Syndrome. I've written for global online blogs, been part of awareness videos, and even been a calendar girl, showing the younger generation that it's okay to be different. FSDP is close to my heart because of what they did for me and how much they helped me. And I wanted to give something back, so I started to fundraise for them. And to date, I've managed to secure funding for three scholarships. I'm also extremely proud to say that in 2019, I was appointed as an FSDP trustee. If you would like more information on FSDP and how the power of flight can help you change your life, please visit our website on www.fsdp.co.uk. You'll be amazed at what you can achieve.